You know, if you look at a surgical exposure, it's full of pink colors and there's very little contrast. And what I've often said is that what we need to do, and I'll look at my fellow in residence and say, we need to make the anatomy look like the Chris Graylock drawing. <laughs> but of course, we never have the pastel colors. Chris and I have worked together for well over 20 years now, and we've done a number of very uh, extensive surgical atlases with literally a thousand images. So to give people the framework of the anatomy and the steps in the procedure, it's much better to use art than it is a photograph in almost every situation because you can accentuate the anatomic relationships in a much more apparent way. Dr. Jackler is a neurotologist. Neurotology, which is a fairly new discipline in the medical field, is a study of the brain and the inner ear and how they interact via the nervous system. And so he's been a pioneer in that area. Chris is a classically trained medical illustrator. It is a small breed of individuals who train classically in medicine and in art. And it goes back to a long and distinguished history. You cannot take an illustrator who's not familiar with medicine and have them draw these kinds of things. You really have to develop a style that communicates biomedicine. I think that our working relationship works really well, um, mainly because we communicate with each other so well. Communication is the key, and it's, uh, it is something he does extraordinarily well. I'm a terrible artist, but I know clearly what I want to say. It takes a while to develop a, a communication style, and a, even a visual vernacular, but we're able to do it very efficiently. It's a matter of really knowing your subject matter and really knowing what your audience needs to know. And so we get right to the heart of it. Much of what we've done had never been drawn before, which is part of the fun for us. Mm -hmm. We would sit, actually for many years, because we were all busy, at my breakfast table on weekend mornings or something, <laughs> yeah, or right. in the evening, and we would sit and my kids would love grabbing the pencils, right? And, and we would sketch. We sit down and we draw together. And he's a, he's a brilliant conceptualist, so he already has a really good inner vision of what he wants. My drawings are completely flat, and almost impossible to interpret if you weren't already an expert at the anatomy. I've learned to be able to interpret what he draws and I'll take it back to my studio and develop a more refined sketch that I know will be changing. Then what I do is I do a final pencil drawing and then I scan it into my computer and get it ready for publication. Chris does immensely complicated three-dimensional drawings in two dimensions. And you look at it and you see the three-dimensionality even though it's just color on a flat piece of paper. And that really takes a great deal of talent. All the great anatomists and great surgeons have had their own illustrators. An experienced surgeon, in their mind's eye, understands the anatomy and relationships. By not sitting over photographs or videos, I can sit and say, okay, you know, here's the oval window, right? Here's the, you remember this well, lateral semicircular canal. Exit to the stylomastoid foramen. You have the malleus, the cochleariform process, and they all match together. And you look at that and say, what an ugly bunch of scratches. <laughs> but she can take that and understood exactly what I said, did you? You knew just what I meant. And she would make that look beautiful and it would come to life. You know, I think the thing that is most gratifying to me, I recall um, once jo Dr. Jackler said, I want you to know that what you do is really helping to save lives. You have no idea. We put your artwork in the operating room when we're in there and we use it as a reference. And that made my day, that made my year for me because that it doesn't get any better than that, knowing that you're really helping.
The preceding program is copyrighted by the Board of Trustees of the Leland Stanford Junior University. Please visit us at med.stanford.edu.